So if you look overall, we grew 4% currency neutral, 6% nominal, and 16% on the bottom line. The drivers were, as you correctly say, OECOM with 40%, but also very strong China with 16%. And we continue to expect strong income growth and strong growth in China and over time as soon as we sort out our supply chain issues also in the U.S. So we're very confident with the outlook that uh, we've given for this year. And then in addition, of course, uh, with the signing of Beyonce, in addition to Kanye West, we believe we have a dream team off the pitch also. So overall, a good start into the year. Casper, uh, I, I do note that those numbers are in China much firmer than what you've got other core markets like North America and also out of Europe. So is there a luxury play now? Because you've obviously brought in Beyonce and you're leaning more towards that at leisure where you've had a collaboration with Mazzoni. It feels like you're going for those much higher margins that luxury players typically can achieve for their product. No, we still believe that we are sports brand. Two thirds of our business is sports, but there's no doubt that the Beyonce, she's the most influential female in the world. She'll be a great addition you know, to our company. But the core of our business continues uh, to be sport, but the Alicia part will play a role also in the future. We've seen this with Kanye. We've seen this with Stella McCartney or Pharrell Williams. And you know, I'm, there's no doubt that Beyonce will be a great addition to our dream team. If you do want to talk about the core then, is there something wrong with brand Adidas? Because the growth rate was 4% in this latest quarter versus 10% growth uh, same time a year ago. You've mentioned comparable has been fairly tough with the World Cup. Is that all it is? Or do we need to get used to lower growth rates from brand Adidas? No, I think what you should get used to is a high single digit growth rates. And, and, and the issue we have right now, the challenge we have right now is that we can't really supply the market. So we're in a you know, situation where the demand is higher than the supply. We should have managed that better, but still a better situation to be in than the reverse that, you know, that the supply is better, bigger than the demand. We're very confident that we're going to hit our targets both in 19 and 20. So we believe that what you're seeing right now, the 4% growth rate is a temporary position. And we've consistently said we'll see an acceleration of our growth rates by the end of the year to make certain that we come in at the high end of our guidance between, you know, at, the, at the guidance between 5 and 8%. Um, Casper, really good morning to you. Um, look, uh, we see that the celebrity endorsements and celebrity designs, it can go two ways as well. And we know uh, Nike have had a lot of success with uh, picking up on the Kaepernick side of things as well. You said you've got a dream team with Beyonce uh, and Kenya as well. And yet Kenya uh, and the great success you've had with Yeezy to date as well. Is it a dual-edged sword? Are you always just waiting to see when you wake up in the morning if he said anything crazy on Twitter or he's given some strange political view? It can work both ways, can't it? I think that, you know, you need to look upon what you're signing up. And I know Kanye quite well. He's a fantastic creator for us. He has his own opinions. We don't always stand to his opinions. But there's no doubt that for both sides, there's been a great relationship. And overall, if it's, you know, on the bigger picture, we've been super happy with that relationship. We don't always subscribe to every opinion he has. But it's not one thing, something I worry about when I wake up in the morning. Uh, because he's been a great addition to our brand, not only in the U.S., but in China, in Russia, in Latin America. You know, these celebrities are global brands along with a Manchester United, a Real Madrid, and Manchester, you know, in, a, in Bayern Munich. And it's getting the combination right, making certain that we remain a sports brand, but of course we get the Alicia side right. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersecci, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.